Now, before you start using the robot arm, you're going to need to initialize it. Your robot arm should be facing like this before you use it and you initialize it. What you'll need to do once you get the power turned on is you'll need to go to the main menu and you'll need to go to number three, the initial button. And we're going to do a hard home. So we'll press one. And we'll press one again for yes. And the robot's going to go through some motions to make sure it finds its home position. So we want to make sure the robot is facing towards the right because of the way it's going through its motions. If it was facing towards us or away from us, it might hit the, hit the wall. So what it's trying to do is find all of its maximum movements, the maximum range it can move, and that's just to calibrate it before it gets used. And these directions are in your module on the computer. This video is just to help you use it. Okay, so once it moves, does its initialization, it will go back to this position right here, and then you're ready to go on to the next step, programming your robotic arm. We're going to take a look at how to program your robotic arm here at the Automation and Robotics module station. The first thing you'll need to do is turn on the power supply here at the power supply source. So we'll flip this black switch and turn on the power, and once the power comes on, it takes a few seconds for our controller here to come on. And once it comes on, it's going to have the main menu show up. And in order to use the robotic arm, we need to go into the teach menu. Once we're in the teach menu, now we'll be able to control the robot and tell it where we want it to go. The robot arm should start off like this. If it doesn't, then it may crash into the wall and damage the arm. Now when you're using the robot arm, what you'll be doing is you'll be using the different buttons like grip plus, grip minus, pitch minus, pitch plus, those buttons on the, on the controller here to move the robot around. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to move the robot according to the directions on the computer. So the computer is going to tell you where on the grid sheet that the robot's sitting on that you'll need to move different objects. And I'm going to just use this little cylinder here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be programming the robotic arm to pick up this cylinder. Now when we program the robotic arm, the button you'll want to press is the data key after you move the robotic arm to a certain position. So what we're going to do is we're going to press that data key now that we move the robotic arm towards us. So we're going to press that and the robotic arm is going to move from where it was starting now over to us facing towards us. So every time I press a button to move the robotic arm, I'm going to press that data key in the bottom right hand of this controller. So so right here, I'll press, I'll press the data key again. And each time it's going to add a point that the robotic arm is going to go to. So I'll press the data key again, press the data key again, so each time I move it, I'm pressing the data key. So again, press the data key, and so now I can close the gripper 
hopefully grab this little cylinder. Okay. And I'm just going to have it lifted up and put it back down. So I press the data key. Press the data key. Open up the gripper. Press the data key. Oops. And finally press the data key. So now what's going to happen is once I have defined all the points, I can go back to the main menu and I can go to number two, which is execute. And I can do the program once by pressing the one button. And it will go through the program one time. So it'll do exactly what I told it to do. Now, if I forgot to put in a point, forgot to press that data key, it's not going to program and it won't do exactly what I want it to do. So now this does exactly what I programmed it to do. Now if you forget to put in a point or you put in a point and you did, didn't need it, then you can go in and there's directions to tell you how to get rid of a point or add a point. Now one thing I want to point out is that the robot arm is only going to go through that once and once you turn off the power it's going to reset the memory so it'll get rid of the program. So if you turn off the power the next day you come back your program won't be there so you have to make sure you do all the steps that period that you're working using the robot arm.